Okay, just for the record, I'm pretty sure I've reset like 10 times already. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a good start. Anyway, this is the Chapter 6 100% IL run. Force Gun is needed to stealth off Mornado, Spire on the dash path, and Zap on the dash path. At the start of the run, we're not going to collect the Soul Gem. That is because it is faster to get it the second time, although it's not a very big optimization. It's an optimization, and we're speedrunners, so we like saving time. These enemies, little pink idiots, are called nautiloids, and they're really annoying, because you can easily miss them. There's three over here on the right, you do not... left, I said right, that you do not want to forget, and those nautiloids we just killed, you don't want them to fall off, because that'll lose you time. It may have looked like some of them fell off, that's just because their death animations are slow. Those cannon enemies have more health than you think, so don't underestimate them. Alright. There's gonna be some more enemies over here. When we get here, we're gonna switch to Tornado and hope we don't get bad RNG. Yeah, second worst, so I got the middle one. Anyway, this only saves this saves a very little amount of time but it is a time save, and we like time saves. We're going to be Spyro for a brief moment, just like we were with Warnado, although I guess we'll be Spyro a little longer. Ah, I forgot I have that. Yeah, if your Spyro has that attack, don't hit B after landing. I'm used to hitting B after flying from original trio. So once you hit land, you want to let go of fly. That way you can dash. We're going to open up this magic gate. Uh, okay, apparently you can fall off of that. Now you know. Now we're going to switch to Stealth Elf. Because there are enemies in the skate, and Spyro's kind of a pain to kill them with. And also try not to fall off that bridge. I've done it a few times before. Alright, so this magic gate's a little, little annoying. Honestly, I don't like this one that much. Mainly because of these bounce pads. That one you can easily hit under, under the rock if you're not paying attention. And now we're at the lock puzzle. Remember this pattern? You want to go left, 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 right. We're going to go right a bunch of times here. So right again, right, right, and right. Now we're going to head left. And we're going to do a cool optimization here. We're going to go right. We're going to go right and then buffer left at the last second. Right there. And left. And that's it. All right. Cool. I'm going to get this hat. I always spam B. I should not do that. Do not go through the teleporter after you finish. It may look appealing. Don't. All right, we're gonna progress here. There's gonna be some enemies, more nautiloids, and uh, whatever this anchor enemy is called. We're gonna see a chest. You kind of want to dash onto this bounce pad just as an optimization. Okay, it usually propels you forward onto the land. Careful with these wood walls. There, there's an invisible there that uh, unloads after about a second. So, uh, try not to, like, dash straight through. Like this. You have to wait and then destroy. Alright, you can barely reach these enemies. Sometimes they'll just, usually when they hit you, they'll all die. So, I don't want to worry too much about that. Do not forget the soul gem. You wouldn't want to make igniter sad. Alright, there's going to be three of these enemies over here. Yeah, I totally missed one. Alright, we can just dash through those enemies, they have no health at all. I'm going to get the legendary treasure. There's going to be enemies over here. And there's one over here, do not miss him. Alright, here's a water spell punk, and you do not want to cross the uh, barrier. 
where that uh, price is. Oops, I did not die, okay. Yeah, if you cross that without killing any of those two enemies, uh, you're kind of screwed. Unless you like set up a warp before, which you'd still be screwed. All right, so I got the twin spouts, and now we're gonna head this way. Still have plenty to go, enemies to kill, and a water gate, and a warp to set up, which I hopefully I don't forget. All right, you can just spawn back. Do not miss this bounce pad, because if you do, well, you're kind of screwed. You can probably make that bounce pad if you want. Might be a little risky, although it's not too risky considering you can just enter back here. All right, so we're gonna take out these enemies first, and the reason we're gonna do that is because we're gonna use Zap for the water gate, and that's just gonna be too slow. Too slow to uh, kill those enemies. All right. So here's Zap, and we're gonna do a really cool skip in this elemental gate. I'm gonna start by going right here. Get the treasure chest. All right, now, instead of getting onto the wood platforms, we're literally gonna go all the way down here. And for whatever reason, this part like propels you up and you can just get straight here. We're gonna wait for the cycle because I'm pretty sure it's faster just to catch it. But you can also alternatively dash all the way to the hat and then run back. I'm just pretty sure it's slower. Instead, you'd be better off going to the teleporter. Yeah, because teleporter just spawns you all the way back to the whirlpool. All right, and we do have a warp to set up before we end this. And I'm gonna set up the warp right here. All right, now that we've set up the warp, before we end off the chapter, we do have to get, oops, forgot you have to hit C there, don't forget that. We're gonna go get a soul gem. Here's the soul gem that we did not collect earlier. Oops, I hit A on that remote. That was a mistake. Camera angle does something kind of funny there, but we're good. We got the enemy count. <laughs> that took like 10 attempts to finally get, by the way. I'm a little relieved, finally. I've just been picky about this one. Anyway, that is the Chapter 6 100% run. Really cool one. It, it has its ups and downs. Watergate might be really cool. Magic Gate, not so much. And there's just no collectibles at the start other than the Soul Gem, which you do not want to collect at first. In any case, uh, yeah, that's it. Feel free to try this one out.